What's going on guys? I got a little deck profile for y'all today. It's a cash tier build. I've kind of tweaked it and um, kind of looked at other people's lists and seen what they were running. And I kind of tweaked it to my own liking, maybe for this meta. Um, so I would say most of this stuff's going to be standard. Um, three unicorn. I don't know how people were playing before without three unicorn for that little period of time. Uh, the consistency off of unicorn is it's mandatory for for a deck that already is lacking a little bit of consistency. Um, the two bricks, not necessarily bricks, but a lot of times these aren't what you want to see, but they're mandatory in the deck if you ask me. Uh, one trap, I'm going to go ahead and bring that out here because it kind of just goes with ogre. Like, if you're not running ogre, don't run the trap. But anyways, that's... uh. It for the monsters, for the uh, well, for the the main monsters. Um, you just I, I feel like the more cash tier names, the better. So we have birth, we have three of those, of course. We have three theosis. I think you could play two and maybe up one of your hand traps, but there's a lot of weird hands where you only have one name, and maybe it's like one of the bad names, like the ogre or the um. Uh, the uh, the rise heart, you know, and that's all you got. But you got this, so it can help you extend. We're gonna play four planets. That's all terraforming is. It's just a fourth spell, field spell. That's gonna search us whatever monster we need at the time. A lot of times you're gonna search Fenrir, though. I found um, it. It depends, but the reason you would search the Fenrir most of the times is because it's if they block the Fenrir ad, at least you have the Fenrir interruption. So a lot of times ending on a Fenrir and a couple hand traps is better than you know, definitely better than ending on a unicorn with one rip. Um the boss monster of the deck is Dimension Shifter right now. There's no deck that likes Dimension Shifter. There's some decks out there like they like to banish stuff, but they don't want their stuff banished. Like Runic, um, you got uh, Sword Soul still out there a little bit. They don't want that. Uh, but it's just an auto win for decks like Tear, Fire Kings. Um, it really it hurts Rescue Ace. All the branded strategies, it just wrecks them. Anything that's Horus based, wrecks them. Three Droll. Another one like you Droll Vanadium. Sure, they might put up an SP and maybe a One Baron. Uh, but they're not going full combo under draw. I don't care who tells you they are. They're not. Okay. Three Ash, again, it's just... You kind of have to play it. Um, You might... It's just... It's so good to Ash, like, a branded fusion. Or... um, If you kind of know your opponent's, like, low on resources, Ash, uh, Ash, you know, the Ponix, the, the Turbulent... Not the Turbulence, the... Uh, uh, fire hydrant or hydrant, whatever his name is. Um, and then two imperm. Just again, imperm's still pretty strong. You know, turbulence. Keeping turbulence from setting five is so powerful. It's just underrated. So yeah, but that's it for the hand traps. Now we will go into the spells. I feel like everybody should main deck spell and trap removal right now. So we have Lightning Storm, also, you know, a board breaker. Um, two Cyclone, because that's good for going first. Harpies, Lightning Storm. If you're playing Rescue Ace and you didn't really draw hand traps, you see this, you're in a much better position. Definitely. Um, three Prospy, because we just got to be able to, we got to be able to dig in that deck. I mean, because this deck is, it's, Consistent, I would say, but not. It's not of the most consistent decks. Um, you know, it's definitely not up there. You, you can't call it super consistent. But anyways, yeah, that's what you're looking at. Um, I think it's an even forty. That's why there's only two imperms. You could go to forty one, I think, and I might. I just, I really, I don't want to have a weird looking hand where it's just, you know all non-engine 
and no gas because that's something you do run when you lose that's why you lose with this deck it's because there's no extenders or something so we're gonna play two of the flare metal dragons i'm waiting on a couple cards to come in um but believe it or not there's times where you set this up especially like game three and there's not much time left you literally are burning them for a th unless they have a lava golem you're gonna sit there and burn them and burn them and burn them Number one, it's 2,800 attack. Uh, game three, uh, if you're going first, you know maybe they're having lightning storm. So, of course, you would do this. Um, that way, that's nullified. But 2,400 attack, I mean, it's going to be hard to out that. Um, they're not going to out it with Fenrir. They can out one of them. Um, but anytime they activate something, it's just going to be burning them for 1,000. So really good time card but it's also a good card like say you do like almost lethal you just set this up in a shang and they're they're forced to out this before the shang so they're they're just putting themselves in such a bad position it, it was just i didn't have this in the other day and i really needed it so i put it in uh the one draco sack you know this is just a good card in general um i'm not doing the link spider stuff uh but you can make SP. I do need to put another Link Spider in. This current build that I'm building. Um, I'm siding Super Poly right now. So I have these in here. If I decide to take the Super Poly out, I'm going to put the Link Spider stuff back in. And the SP stuff. I got one SP, but it rarely, rarely comes up with this deck. Because you're typically pushing for something more lethal. Um, the Drago Sack. There's just cool things you can do with it. But it requires Link Spiders. Um, the Dark Arm Dragon. Uh, just a really good card. Uh, it can actually reset your shifter. If you have a weird hand where you draw a shifter and you only got the shifter engraved, you can reshifter them. That I've done that before. Um, Big Eye. It's just too good not to have. It's probably the best monster. Um, then target. If it didn't target, it would be just super good. Typhon, uh, Cash Tier is one of the only decks where this card actually can win you games. I know that sounds weird, but let's just say you have like a birth. They clear your field, but you have a birth or like a prep. Um, yeah, you can, or a sh and a Shang on the field left, but you just can't kill them. But you can remove, like, say they're Baron. That that can actually win you a game. Uh, I'm just playing a, Fe a Phoenix in here right now until my other cards come in. Uh, just, you know, Phoenix is a good form of removal still. Um, for something really troublesome. This card, this card actually won me a game the other day. Um, against Labyrinth. They just couldn't do anything with it. And it was a non-targeting banish for their lady. And also it can make a, you can make it make a second attack the next battle phase. But typically you're going to use the, the banish effect. Um, or you can make it gain attack and just be a tower. One SP, because if you have it, you should play it, I guess. But it does not come up. I don't think I've made it once in this deck. Because you have to use too much resource. Um, Divine Arsenal, Zeus, of course. It's, it's just easy to, one of the easiest decks to make it in. One Baron, I have yet to make this once. I've just, I haven't drew a, like, you're only making this if you have a bad hand, usually. Or if you just... Because this is a better interruption than an Ash. So, because it's an Omnigate. But you have to expend one of your Cash Tira monsters. Um, but anyway, there's some cool things you can do with that. Uh, and then the one Shang, because it just puts pressure on boards a lot. And it's just really good. Um, and then, of course, like I said, I spoke on these. Uh, a lot of people do still end on Baron SP, like Manadium. Um, that's like one of their worst inboards, unfortunately, because typically they're going to have Appaloosa. But you can grab the Appaloosa and the Baron with uh, this one. Yeah, this one. Um, and then you can grab their SP and Baron with this. And this is actually just a good monster. And then this is going to take care of anything else. But, um, you know, it, it, I'm not maining it. Possibly thinking about it. Maining Super Poly. 
So for our side deck, we got one Ghost Bell. Just to have another tuner in the deck sometimes, and it's good against Labyrinth, which is a deck that this kind of struggles against because they call field spells with the deck devastator. That kind of, um, uh, you know, uh, screws you pretty bad. Um, yeah, so we got that. Summon Limit, thinking about making this anti-spell because Summon Limit can hurt you, but, you know, if you got enough on board already, you can typically win. Um, and it's just such a great floodgate. This is one of the only decks that can run Lava Golem efficiently. So, yeah, you might as well. I mean, it's two removals. It's great. You side that in and Super Poly, typically you're going to break any board. Three Judgment, because we know that Keshtir loses two evenly matched. Yeah, so we, we got to play that. Um, and then here's the three Super Poly. Just such a strong board breaker. I mean, literally one of the strongest board breakers out there. Um, because a lot of a lot of boards can't they can't not end on a certain board just because of the threat of Super Poly. Or then their board just sucks. Like, if they end on SP Baron, I'm going to Super Poly that. But if they say, well, okay, I'm just going to end on an SP Appaloosa. Dude. Appaloosa with three negates has, what, 20, 2400? I mean, all I got to do is crash into it with a Fenrir. That's it. Or just kill it with a unicorn. They won't be able to use their anything. They won't. I'm just, I wiped their board right then. And, um, yeah. So, I mean, but nobody's going to do that. They're going to end on their main board. And then you got like Dragon Link still out there a little bit. You just completely wipe them out with Super Poly. It just wrecks them. It can't be responded to. I mean, it's just so, so powerful. But uh, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Um, make sure to like and subscribe. I really like this deck. I mean, it's one of, it's probably one of my favorite decks that I've played in the last little while um, for this format. Just because if you, and I, and I think I like it so much because of Shifter, but there's games where I don't open Shifter that I'm still able to just break the board. But I mean, Shifter, gosh, this card. I understand why people want it banned, but I think I don't think they'll ban this card. I really don't. Not in the TCG. I don't even think they'll limit it. I mean, because not many decks can play it, number one, and the decks that can play it aren't like tier one. I mean, I would say cash right now is probably the top of tier two, but it's it's just, you know, you got Flu and uh, Vanquish Soul and this deck that can play it well. And none of them decks are topping multiple events all the time. You get what I'm saying? Cash Tears been making a pretty good comeback here lately, though. Just because people aren't prepared for it. Um, and then Vanquish Soul is just kind of lingering. But I definitely think this is better than Vanquish Soul, for sure. Uh, but anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe. We'll see you on the next one.